Hello, Trenis, the title of the video is uh, a triangle chart pattern trader reviews his uh, Australian dollar, New Zealand dollar, FS a trading uh, strategy. Do you trade uh, the Australian New Zealand dollar? Well, let's get started. I'm on the monthly chart, and we can see that uh, the Australian dollar, New Zealand dollars came down you can see here was going down and now it's consolidating in a triangle right. the triangle is giving us a warning any triangle chart pattern will alert us that anything is possible the price can break above the triangle or can be below it as things stand now you can see that the price is heading up now from the lower part, people are buying. So the strategy that the one should deploy here is a consolidation trading strategy. So one will buy here, take profit at the midpoint of the triangle. See, I divide the base of the triangle into two, connecting the midpoint of uh, the triangle to the summit or the top of the triangle. That's the midpoint. So those who are buying here using the consolidation strategy will be prepared to take the first, the midpoint target at the median line and will take the ultimate profit at the top here. Professional trader in this scenario, they like uh, this kind of trading. Usually they may open multiple positions at the base and they will close some of the position as the price reaches the midpoint of uh, the, the mid target. And then uh, they will let the rest of the position up to the top of uh, the ultimate uh, target all right so this was going on here so it's oscillating now is you see here it hit the top people took profit but now it pulled back to retest all right the media line of the triangle there is a high chance that we may see a breakout but before until that breakout takes place one should not assume anything the price can still come back down all the way here okay and then continue to oscillate more which is will be okay a prolongation of uh, that uh, consolidation so what do we say to trade at this point in time okay priority to bullish signal first near the base of the triangle second point to be bullish is when it comes from the low like this in when a ball pull back retest the median line. so once can look for an opportunity to buy also near the median line if you buy near the media line, your target is the top of the triangle. If you do not want to come out, you need to move at least your stop loss to break even. All right? To control the risk. All right? The best place to be truly, truly bullish is when it pops above the triangle and retest it and find support or form a higher low or any bullish pattern above okay, that triangle. Talking about uh, triangle chart pattern trader reveals uh, his Australian New Zealand dollar FS trading strategy. If the price goes above the triangle, the levels that you must work are the prior, okay, this level here, and this one here. 11462 is a very important support uh, key level. Another one in the zone of uh, 11304. Just remember them, okay? I'm not going to leave it there. The resistance ahead be aware of them when the price goes above the triangle that's what i'm saying those are resistant here those resistant there watch them when the price goes above it and find the support all right okay if the price out of the triangle and start going up professional triangle chart pattern traders will measure the height of the triangle here you see the height and they will project it at a breakout point so if you break out here continue to go up okay I put it here, something like this. Okay, put it here. All right. They will set a target like this. Okay, if they consider this point as a breakout point, the ultimate target will be at a one two four five eight, and the midpoint target will be one one six eight eight. All right. So measuring the height of the triangle and projecting it at the breakout point like this. Let me put it like this. What's the difference? No big difference. No big difference. I put it mine here. Conservative. Okay. Midpoint target 11688. Ultimate target 12458. 
Something they may say, yo, definitely it will go there. No, 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 no. If you are a new trader, it does not have to go there. It may take some time to get there. It may not even get there. But as we see a triangle, those are the preparation that we do before the price even comes to those levels. Now that you see that I have a midpoint target and also ultimate target for the Australia, New Zealand dollar, right? Anytime we see a two key level, two significant key level, talking about midpoint or so on, we should also remember the midpoint target between two key levels. So if it's going now, you want me to draw it? Okay, I'll put it there, the media line between the orange and the green line, somewhere there. You see, it's corresponding almost to this resistance. So if you are paying attention to those resistance, so if you pop out, are going out, know that there is a, another key level here, 11283, just be aware of it. Between those uh, two key levels, there's another one there. And again, there is another one again between the red one and the orange level. So you may say, Joe, you're just drawing line. Yes, that's what professional are doing. So what do you do with those key levels? You want to look for trading setup around those key levels. You see the triangle here, how people were trading. They were looking for trade bullish trading setup. Well, here, here, you see, so we just need to map out the chart and look for trading setup. And once you find a trading setup, you want to implement a top down trading method. And also, people are looking for bullish trading setup. If he breaks a ball, he tests and finds support. Okay, here, you see, people, you see, we're buying here to push it back up. So, if he is coming from below up, that's the way you buy. Okay, see, here, from below up, that's what they are doing here, also near the median line. He goes above it and find a support to buy. So they were selling here around what? That key trend line. They were buying around that key bullish trend line. You see? So that's why you want to know where are those essential key levels. And you are looking for your trading setup only around those key levels. That's it. It's that's ready. Find the key level, know where they are, okay? No the target level, no the midpoint target level. Right. Wait until there is a clean cut, high probability trading setup around one of those key levels, and then implement a top down trading method. That's the that's the bread and butter of trading. You see the moving average 20 nicely went down. It's now supporting the price as the price consolidating like this. But there's one more thing I want you to remember apart from the levels that I've already mentioned and the strategy that you must deploy. I put a vertical line there, okay, this, the, the top of the triangle, professional will draw a vertical line like this, if the price continue to go up, they will expect a reversal somewhere near that zone, either before the vertical line somewhere, okay, either before or exactly there or after, somewhere in that zone, they will expect a, a reversal, a kind of a pullback if it continues to go up. That's why we put the vertical line at the top of the summit. So those are the preparation that you need to do. Those are the things that you need to take into consideration as a triangle chart pattern trader, okay, that is trading the Australian New Zealand dollar, okay, in a forest market. So all in all, my friend, it's very simple. The price was going down before. Now it's consolidating in that orange triangle. What is telling us is that there is okay a balanced market, theoretically speaking, equal force between the bullish traders and the bearish traders. So the bearish traders are selling here. Prior hit this level, bullish trader will buy, and they will push it to the top before the bearish trader will dare to sell it. It's a, a balanced market. The balance market has also a media line, which is this level of 10808. All right, when it's coming from the base, it goes above that level. The bullish traders are rejoicing because they know that they can push it now to the next level. When it's coming down from the top and it crosses below the media line, the bearish traders are rejoicing, and some of them will sell again below that level, try to bring it here. This was going on now that you can see they are pushing it out. They reach the top here where the bearish trader did sell it, but now the bearish traders are finding it very difficult to cross that media line, which is telling us now that uh, the bullish traders are fighting 
okay like a donkey so to speak they are fighting strongly they don't want it to go back again below that level we will see whether they will succeed to do that all right now there are key levels we talk about it 10808 11288 those are the zones where you want to look for trading opportunity so considering the triangle chart pattern one will measure the height of the triangle and project it okay at the breakout point to set the target do exactly the same thing on your chart and then you just leave those lines on your chart. If, for instance, you can go to the hourly time frame, okay. Oh, I can't see any of my line on the hourly time frame, okay. If I can't see it, you see, I can see them now on the daily chart. I can see some of my line on the daily chart now. So here, this is the media line, or oh, that's a triangle. You see here on the daily chart, okay. Is it forming an inverted head and shoulder chart pattern? We will see. All right. Okay. All right. Trading around key level. So you see here. So here, common sense is broken. Okay. Goes back in both the media line. People take it from it. So you see, this is a, a, what we are talking about. There was a, a trading opportunity here. If I form, if you connect it like this, okay. here, this one, and this one, try to retest that trend line there. That's what they are doing. Now, it brings below that trend line. It's struggling a bit here, all right? So you are looking for, this is a trading opportunity around a key level. This was a trading opportunity, okay, around a key level. That's what you want to look for and then trade it, all right? So now it's consolidating now here, blah, blah, blah. So on the daily chart, there's a small consolidation going on again here. You can see that? So you can know which strategy you should deploy. So within that triangle, there's a small consolidation and these people are buying here. Near the level for 10867. And they are selling near the level of uh, 10981. So again, between that those two key levels, there is again a median line. That's what they're doing now. Okay, here we are. All right. Whether you're on any time frame, you map the chart out. From the higher time frame, and you break it down to the lower time frame. Sometimes you, you see now, I can see those lines on the hourly time frame. You see those lines I've drawn. So I'm looking for, I know that those lines are very important key level. Even if you look here on the day, on the hourly time frame, it's a consolidation near those levels. And then I want to find trading opportunity on or near one of those key levels. And then I implement a top down trading method to trade it. As a forest trader, it is completely crazy to trade forest without checking economy news relating to the Australian dollar or the New Zealand dollar. If you are trading the Australian, New Zealand dollars, the economy news, the fundamental, will always affect technical forex trading. If you want, does not want to pay attention to the economy news, unless you are getting away with it, which means you are a very lucky person, one should not trade forex. That's my view. All right. You see, Joe, that's too much, isn't it? Yes, it is a bit. So this will conclude our discussion today about the triangle chart pattern trader reveal his Australian New Zealand dollar FS trading strategy. If you have any question or suggestion, please put in the comment section. And in due course, I will be recording another video to answer your specific question. If this video has been totally, totally useful to you, please let us know by giving us the thumbs up. If you dislike it, please mark it down. All right. If you have not yet subscribed to our channel, feel free to subscribe to our channel today. And be sure to click on the notification bell. So anytime we record a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. If you think this video is an essential tutorial that can help other Australian New Zealand dollar traders, feel free to share with your friend on Google Plus, on Twitter, Facebook, and also on Tumblr. So this will conclude our discussion today about uh, triangle chart pattern trader reveals his Australian New Zealand dollar FS trading strategies. Until the next time, enjoy yourself and be very happy. We are the TSTW 24 traders. Happy trading to you all and I will speak to you soon. Thank you for watching.